Good morning everyone, welcome back to our channel. It's Mommy G here and in today's episode, I'm going to talk to you about my must-haves or essentials, things that I've been loving and using in the past six months. And I just wanted to put a disclaimer out there that, you know, these items may not work for you. I mean, I found that the hard way. When I was looking through so many YouTube videos of must-haves or essentials, you know, some items didn't work out for me and so I had to return or exchange some of the items that I bought. And that is okay because every baby is different. So anyways, let's get started. So the first item is actually a breast pump. This is the Medela Freestyle Flex. I personally was using the Philips Advent breast pump in the beginning. However, it didn't last for very long just because it was so uncomfortable. Um, the flanges that they have are too small. And, and so I had to exchange it and buy a more expensive one but I think it's worth it uh, it's pretty straightforward to use easy easy to charge it's portable they say you can put your your wrist in here while you pump but I personally put it inside my pockets whatever pockets I have um, so that I'm free to do whatever I have to do and I love it because it comes with a bag a bag that when you have to travel so and also comes with an ice pack which is a plus i love it that i don't have to buy another item and that it already comes with it basically it comes with everything the bottles everything everything that you need for the breast pump part <laughs> so the next item is this medela breast pump bra it's basically a zip up bra it has holes on it so you put the flanges in connected to the breast pump parts and to the machine and you're good to go. I love it. I really love it just because I'm able to do while I'm breast pumping, I mean while I'm pumping for 50 to 20 minutes, I can basically do, you know, do things like either wash the bottles or cook rice because that's important. And so yeah, I love it because I'm able to do pumping and doing other things at the same time. So the next item is this micro steam bag from Medela. Basically, I put all the breast pump parts in here, put it in the microwave for three minutes, and we're good to go. Next item is this Medela breast milk storage bag. I mean, nothing special about it. You basically put the date here, add the amount, and it comes in 50 bags if I'm not mistaken. Anyways, I will link everything down below. It's I mean, it's pretty easy to use and I like that it's like pretty sealed when you put it in the freezer and nothing spills and it works for me. Next item is the Philips Avent Natural Bottle Gift Set. Basically, it comes with four different bottles, two different sizes. So basically, there's a taller one of this. It has the bra brace. <laughs> it has the breast-shaped nipple. It comes with the vent on the side and apparently it helps with colic and it comes with the bottle brush to clean the bottles and it comes with this sterilizer which I super love I put all the bottles in here put water put it in the microwave for four minutes and it's done we were using the Dr. Brown's bottle in the beginning because that's what the NICU people or the NICU staff recommended us to use However, I found it really annoying because it kept clogging uh, and Therese would be so fussy about it or I mean she would be naturally get so pissed because the milk wouldn't come out and I would be frustrated uh, as well because I'm like, really? And so we finally gave up and we switched it up to the Philips and I mean, so far, we have had no issues with it. She likes it. So if she likes it, I like it. The next item on the list is this Philips Advent drying rack. Nothing special about it. I like it because it's easy to wash. And these are removable. I hang all the stuff in here. It works. The next item on the list is a pacifier. I mean, I have bought her different kinds of soothies or pacifiers, whatever you call it. Um, even the glow, glow in the dark ones, but she prefers this one because this is what she's used to. Uh, this is what they've been using when she was born. 
um, in the NICU and so even though I've been trying to switch her up um, she prefers this one um, for some reason I don't know why so the next item is this Dapple Baby Bottle Dish Soap I basically use this instead of using the soap that we use for plates I don't know, I just prefer it um, because it's fragrance free I find that it's less strong um, and it works for me the next item is this Tommy Tippy travel bottle warmer basically you open it put the hot water in here and you press this thing and pour it and obviously put the bottle in here and it warms it for two three minutes the bottle is ready and good to go you want to tell them the next item you feel like telling them so basically the next item is a high chair i can't really show you at the moment because you know the supervisor is sitting down on it uh, so basically it's a high chair from Ikea, nothing really special about it but we made it extra special by just putting accessories on it uh, basically got a cushion and a cushion cover, uh, the mat, the silicone mat and we put um, like a footrest because the high chair from Ikea doesn't have a footrest for the babies and so this are, I mean these items that I'm mentioning are all from this shop um, on Instagram called Via Baby Goods. I will link it down below so that you can also, um, you know, spice up your high chair. <laughs> Does this bore you? I'm sorry. Anyways, <laughs> just to give you a closer look of what the high chair looks like. This is what it looks like. This is the footrest that I was telling you about. It also comes with a belt, so but I can't really show you right now. Anyways, this is the cushion, cushion, cushion cover, the cushion, and this is the mat that I was telling you about. And it also comes with this um, arm wrap. Um, it's all they have different colors, different colors for the cushions as well, and the mat, everything. I will link it down below. So the next items on the list are items that I've only been using for the past month just because it's only been a month since the rest can actually eat. The first one is the Nutribullet and I mean I could have easily bought a baby blender but I didn't want to buy something that basically you know she'll only use for a few months. I wanted to use something that all three of us can use uh, and you know this one works it blends, it makes the food, and after I put the food in here, I mean, after I blend the food in here, I basically use this container. I will link it down below. I can't remember what it's called. Basically, put the food in here, put it in individual compartments, and put it in the freezer. After I freeze them, take it out, scoop it out, and put it in bags. And when I'm ready for it, um, I will take it out, put it in a container, and warm it. And the last item on the list are these super colorful spoons from Munchkin. I, I mean, nothing really special about it. It does its job. The only thing I like about it is because it's colorful and Therese is easily entertained by it. Um, so yeah. Okay, so the next item on our list is a bathtub. Um, this one I got from Bed Bath & Beyond. I like it. I mean, I like the color one and also i like that you can fold this uh, especially if you have a smaller space at home it's always a plus if you can fold it and hang it you can also hang this it has like a hook in the top here in the top part ouch <laughs> um you can also easily drain the water you just pull out this part and it drains the water for you um so yeah i really like this one so the next item on our list is the Avino Baby Daily Wash and Shampoo. I like it because it's two-in-one and it works for us. So far, she's not sensitive to it or has no reaction to it. The next item is the Avino Baby Lotion. So we just use it once a day after her wash and it works. 
The next item on the list is a burp cloth. This one's from Amazon. I like it because it's big and it absorbs a lot. It's soft. Uh, we have those cute ones too, that like the cute bibs as well. Um, but we find that we use this like more just because it's you know it absorbs a lot more uh, the next item is this onesie this one it's just a regular white onesie uh, we use it as an inner uh, and we frequently use sleepers you know at night um, it doesn't have socks or anything i mean like you know those the ones that cover the toes um, she gets hot frequently so she prefers to be in a cool like she prefers this kind. Um, I would suggest a zipper one for like in the first months or so um, because the baby does wake up every two hours and it's just easier to like zip up instead of like buttoning every single button like this one. Uh, this one's from H&M. Uh, I just, I mean, this one works for us. She wakes up every four hours now, so it's not so much of a hassle. Um, so yeah, it would, in, in terms of clothing, uh, we don't have, like, we're not going crazy with clothing. A lot of our friends and family give, give her clothes. Um, gift her clothes? I don't know. Anyways, I don't know if that makes sense. Um, basically, we buy her Sunday clothes, um, but again, not a lot. Um, she basically has maybe three or four in that specific age group because nowadays clothing wise there are clothes that can fit between three to six months six to nine months so right now she basically has maybe three or four nice tops um for sunday for sundays that she can wear um so yeah clothing wise um that's what we have and we use a specific soap for her it's called the ivory snow um, basically, it doesn't have a scent to it, at least very gentle. Um, and we get this from Costco just because it's cheaper there. Um, the next item is one of my favorites. This is the diaper caddy from Amazon. I like it because, I mean, the color is perfect. And I like it because it has different pockets. And also inside, it has three different sections so I can easily divide everything. Um, basically, this is wherever i mean i bring this wherever we go within the house so i think it's really helpful um so inside uh we'll talk about what we use next uh so for diapers we use pampers uh that's what we've been using this past six months and thank goodness she has no rashes or anything like that i was really worried in the beginning that oh gosh what do i do if she gets rashes and stuff but anyway she has none of that Thank goodness, um, this one works for us. Um, the next item is baby wipes. Baby wipes, we've, in the beginning, we used Pampers wipes because that was gifted to us and that worked for us. However, um, I mean, fortunately, someone also gifted us wipes and it, it's from Costco. They're the Kirkland Baby Wipes Ultra Soft and it works. I mean, it has no scent. It does its job so and it's cheaper so this is what we've been using so far and the next item is one of our really must-have item is the vaseline um vaseline healing jelly uh, basically this is what we use after we wipe her you know private area uh this one is also cheap in costco you get like two bucket like two big buckets of this and a small smaller version for like seven bucks and I, honestly you can't find that anywhere else um so yeah this is what we've been using for her and it works this next item is something that i thought i didn't need but thank goodness i got it um it's basically a lifesaver or should i say a smell saver i don't know basically it's a diaper pail this one is from decor i don't know if, I, if you can actually see it it's cheaper than the genie diaper pail um and i like the color and that it is a smaller size i mean i wouldn't say it's small it's big enough for us for um for our use uh you can step on it and 
you basically just shoot the diaper in here and yeah it works it doesn't we don't smell any of the stinky diapers and it's pretty straightforward to use and again it's cheaper so the next item is one of my favorites it's the frida baby nose ear nail picker <laughs> basically it yeah it's a lifesaver for me uh i thought you know it's overwhelming to think that i have to pick someone else's nose but man this is so easy to use and i absolutely love it actually i love it more than the nose frida snot sucker uh it's i find this e easier to use but this one we use if she's very congested um basically straightforward put it in the, her nose and you suck this part and it does the whole thing for you um it's not as gross as you think <laughs> and the next item is this nose frida grooming kit it basically comes in the comes in three like it has a cradle brush and comb in here it has a little toothbrush and my other favorite is this nail clipper yes it's overwhelming to clip a baby's nails especially it's so tiny and cute but it's easy to use it's actually less overwhelming or it's easier than what you think it is sometimes it's just an overwhelming t thought but once you use it once you try it and with a lot of practice it's not so bad and the next item is a thermometer this one is a forehead thermometer it's super easy to use straightforward she loves this i mean she prefers this um uh, compared to the one in the armpit so anyways it works the next items on our list are toys books and a baby carrier basically she likes any toy that makes a sound uh toys that are colorful um she's in the phase where she basically puts everything in her mouth for books she has a lot of books uh, i will try to link everything down below uh, she has colorful books and she also has this black and white book which we used a lot in the beginning because that's what she can only recognize and the last item on our list is this ergo baby carrier if you've watched our previous vlogs and follow us on social you know that she basically lives in this thing um, she loves it we love it and it works for us so i think that's it for our video today guys hopefully this was helpful for you we'll see you in our next video god bless you